Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. you are listening to Obscene Potsy, and today's episode is all about... Screw your optics. Subscribe to PewDiePie. We are the 99% of So before we get into this PewDiePie deal, I need to remind everybody that it's National Kick Drum from Hot for Teacher Day. Woo! Woo! Yes, uh, happy Irish and Kick Drum Day to all of you. We are recording this on um, on St. Patty's and National Kick Drum for Hot for Teacher Day. It's the same day. I didn't know that. Yes, it's the same day. And uh, so we, it, this is just something we like to celebrate here. It's a traditional part of our culture. and uh, we, culture. And we will continue to uh, do this every year. We, it's, it's been about uh, since, since we began that we've been uh, commemorating this day and uh, celebrating it. So we will continue. And uh, just because we love you, our audience, so much, we will not play Hot for Teacher. We're not going to play Though, Hot for Teacher. The interview with David Lee Roth on Joe Rogan is kind of fucking crazy. That sounds pretty entertaining. Yes, it does. But uh, that, that is not for today, folks. Uh, what is for today is everybody just needs to go and like su- subscribe to PewDiePie. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Right now. Just uh, just because, uh, you know, Tom Petty told you to. Just Tom Petty point. has struck again, folks. That oh, mass Tom murder Petty is nothing wrong. Son of a bitch. Down, TZ Reese, I'm here to spill the real tea. You're trying to dethrone me for spot on number one, but you in the year you lose. So best thing you haven't won. When I'm he just hates here, those brown people, doesn't he? Done, Look at this fucking Nazi. Cute. Yep. So come on, T series, looking hungry for some drama. Here, yeah, he's cl- he's obviously a hateful guy. Yes, obviously. Look at T series, they just crying for their mama. Bitch, lasagna. Look at the windmill background. <laughs> Yep. So who the hell is Bob and why you wanna kiss him? Ew. I'm a blue eyes white dragon while you're just dark magician. Yeah. You got a fifth of the population. Damn it, PewDiePie. You're you're better than uh, Lil Pump. Yeah. Multiple <laughs> PewDiePie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why did why didn't you go into this uh, professionally there, Pewds? Oh, he did. Yes, kind of. That's what this is. Yes. And, he, <laughs> and just like uh, Lil Windex, he is spreading. Vile hate. Yep. They just, uh... This is, this is the sort of thing that inspires all kinds of bombings, shootings. It's just fucking terrible. Is bitch lasagna like a, a thing people say, or did he... It's, it's, I it's, don't know. Yeah, it's it's racist is what it is, because... Uh, did he just put this up? Is lasagna is Italian? Well, no, it's... it's um, You know that whole uh, Bob's and Vagina, or Vagina, however you want to pronounce it? 
No. The uh, the meme of Indians who approach uh, white women, Western women in various Western states over Facebook and uh, in very broken English try to get them to send pictures of their bobs. There, there, there's, there's a whole, uh, this is a whole meme that obviously you have missed out on here. And uh, the bitch lasagna is part of that because there is a famous uh, conversation that ends in, just ends in bitch lasagna, which I, we do not know what the, the, the Indian man in question meant by this, but, um, but it has been, um, uh, used repeatedly by racists like PewDiePie to, uh, to mock brown people <laughs> everywhere. Hmm. And is that cool? Yeah, it, it is, it is in fact cool. At least that's what the, uh, those, those evil, uh, racists who are voting for Chinese people these days would have you believe, but, yeah, so, it's, it's very sad. Tom Petty has- So nice to see other Chinese people! Tom Petty, <laughs> that violent motherfucker, has struck again and gunned down a whole bunch of, uh, Muslims in a mosque in New Zealand. In Middle Earth <laughs> yeah, itself, kind of like he's he's getting around these days. Tom Petty. Yeah, I don't you know, know how he got on a plane. I mean, uh, he's got to have some kind of uh, global uh, transportation network going on here. Yeah, they're he's, shuffling. He's, he travels by Spirit Air. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you get away with it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, somebody is uh, very financing him very well to continue these attacks throughout the world. Uh, what was what was the one before this? Oh yeah, the, the synagogue shooting. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. In, in October. So he's speeding up here. Tom Petty is ramping up his uh, his just reign of terror and it's, it's getting worse and worse. Now he's in New Zealand. Where will he be next? Where will Tom Petty strike next? In the face of every child. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, so they're they're trying to use this this uh, action that Tom Petty did, this gunning down merc- mercilessly of uh, gunning of, down a dream. <laughs> yes, yes, gunning down a dream of these Muslims to now try to I'm get gunning down a dream. Yeah, <laughs> um, they're trying to use this to get PewDiePie pulled completely. From YouTube, of course, because he's a terrible Nazi. And A Chan and 4chan. Uh, yep, and Candace Owens, you know, because that uh, very. Because she's a Nazi too. Yes, oh, you know, a black, black lady Nazi. That's yeah. uh, white supremacy. The face of white supremacy is a black face. And uh, it's, uh, it, it's getting very bad. They're, they're pushing this censorship the token campaign. Blackface. The token uh, blackface. You haven't. Uh, you probably haven't seen the video, have you there, Frankie, of, that the guy streamed live, Tom Petty streamed live to Facebook? Oh, where'd Frankie go? Frankie. 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 God damn it, Frankie. It's ruining the show. Yes, he is. What the fuck? I, I think it's because of that, uh, that whole Irish thing. He's reacting to the appropriation of the, the day of the Irish people for the whole hot for teacher thing. And nobody in Van Halen is Irish. So, uh, I think we have a little bit of racism going on in the part of Frankie T here. But, uh, if, if you guys have seen the video out there in the audience, you'll know that, uh, Tom Petty, before he, uh, drove to the mosque and started shooting, told everybody to subscribe to PewDiePie. And, uh, I would agree with, with this statement, uh, like, I, I, I'm not going to uh, hold this guy up as uh, Tom Petty as any kind of hero or conspiracy or false flag. I don't have enough data on, on who this guy was, but I do agree. Subscribe to PewDiePie. He yeah, needs this, your help. You know, PewDiePie made a statement on, on it, I believe. Uh, I think we, we have it here. This is, this is what PewDiePie had to say about the whole ordeal. Oh, bro, it's just like, dude, you got the best barrels ever, dude. Just like you pull in and you just get spit right out of them, and you just drop in and just smack the lip, whoop, <laughs> drop down, snap, ah, and then after that, you just drop in, you just ride the barrel and get pitted, so pitted like that. 
Oh yeah, T- uh, I mean PewDiePie just getting pitted. He's getting pitted. He's so get- pitted. He's getting so pitted, and uh, that that's a good way to react. We we applaud you, PewDiePie, for uh, your words of wisdom in these dark times when people are just getting gunned down, left and right, all over the place. Um, it's 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 terrible out there. And Frankie is back. Yeah, Thank sorry. Dog, yeah, dogs were going a little crazy. I had to go take care of a little business. Yep. Uh, so have you seen the video of this of Tom Petty shooting up this mosque? Frankie. I have not seen it, no. No. It's pretty it's, intense. It's it's very... I, I didn't realize there was video. It, he, he, live, it, yeah. he live streamed it to Facebook. And they're not trying to... They're not saying anything about shutting down Facebook, by the way. No. Which is pretty... No, they Fine. want to shut down 8chan, where he shared a link to Facebook Live, where he shows himself <laughs> killing a whole bunch of people. But um, but they aren't going to shut down Facebook because you know Facebook. <laughs> you, we got to love these one percenter corporations. Like they'll shut down the the platform of the ninety nine percent, but leave their own little corporate one percenter elitist Facebook there, so that Zuckerberg so- can rule over the masses. But. Uh, but yeah, he streamed it to Facebook Live. Well, you was to- was somebody was somebody holding the camera for him, Go- or was he camera in one hand? GoPro. Yeah, which is why they should probably GoPro strapped ban, to his chest. Ban GoPros, no? Yeah. yeah now, now they got to ban GoPros. Yeah, GoPro helmet. Um, yeah, I saw. We we watched the whole thing. Uh, it's intense. Dude had like ke- kebab removal written on his uh, rifle and all. The stuff, number all fourteen. Stuff. Hashtag for, blame GoPro. Yeah, the number fourteen for some weird reason. Yeah, I don't uh, know why. What what significance that is, but. Yeah, the, uh, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of stuff written all over. It was it's an intense fucking video, and I'm sure they're trying to ban it from everywhere. They're they're working on banning, getting rid of this guy's manifesto too, sweeping it under the rug, but. I think that... Uh, Where did he post that? Yeah, uh, I, I think that was... Uh, I don't know. It, maybe Facebook? Maybe 8chan, but uh. Uh, it got shared around a bunch. An eco-fascist. Tom yep. Petty's an eco-fascist now. And... Uh, what was in his manifesto? He's an eco-fascist. Yeah, he, uh, he well, basically, he, he doesn't... Uh, Hates Trump, likes communist China. Yep, yeah, he, he considers communist China the closest uh, society to the one he wants to live in. He only likes hmm. Trump for what he did for uh, white people, and not for any of his actual policies, but more as a meme. Invigorating the white community. Yep, and uh, he... Uh, um, for some reason, he's he's only concerned about um, the. Uh, usually, when you hear about these Nazis, they're all completely anti-Semitic and talking shit about Jews. But he says about uh, Jews and Muslims, like, uh, hey, if they're in their own countries, they don't bother me. And he didn't mention anything, uh, any of these terrible lies about Jews being overrepresented in the media and uh, the government. So. So I don't know how much of a Nazi this guy actually is. Yeah, um, I mean he idolizes communist China. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of funny. And, it's not really uh, a Nazi, bro. And, and he was just That's what in, I'm saying. And he was just in, um, just in um, uh, Israel of uh, uh, a few years ago. So uh, yeah, there there are a lot of questions about what Tom Petty was uh, was thinking or or doing or what he's trying to do or where where he'll strike next, but. Uh, one I don't know. Can only guess. These this world is getting fucking crazy, man. There, there was that uh, uh, senator or, or something in uh, in New Zealand or Australia. Australia, the guy who who blamed immigra- uh, immigration for this issue, and uh, you know, then got egged. Where's where's the lie? But uh, yeah, some some looks like some punk kid came behind him and egged him. And he turned around and socked him one. I seen that video today. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna play that yeah, real quick because yeah. it's short, real short. But um, so I've been seeing uh, a lot of uh, great uh, commie memes on Facebook, and they're celebrating this kid, this punk kid. 
<laughs> he yep. starts throwing on the kid. Yep. Oh, yeah. No, it's an attack. And, and he's going to be charged for attacking the kid, and the kid isn't going to get charged for hitting him for with an egg. Is that really? Yeah. yeah what? Oh, my. Yeah. Or at that's least that's, that's that's what they're trying to pull. Of course. Um, and they'll get away with it, especially there. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Because it's a kid. And, and, and it's, it's really funny to see these uh, Bolsheviks acting as if uh, this egg guy is the next, uh, you know, killer of Archduke Ferdinand or something. <laughs> uh, they're, they're, they're glamorizing this guy as a hero, um, as, as if he's some kind of, uh, you know, bashing the fash um, with, with eggs. So, um, but, uh, yeah, Antifa never ceases to be entertaining. And uh, What? 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 Yes. 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 Oh! Have we not had any video this whole time? Whole time? Yeah, I think uh, that that would be. Actually, no, we did. We we did. Uh, I don't know why that uh, was up there. Popped on, All but right. but it wasn't on there the whole time. Cool. Uh, if it was, sorry, Podzeners, we're getting used to new new we're, systems. We're doing trying a new setup, new stuff, making uh, less editing time so we can have more live time and we are trying to go live one step at a time here yep we very soon will be able to do a live show where you guys can get your requests in can actively call in yeah. yep and uh you know i still want to be able to have it so the people who can't get there in time can leave voicemails and leave requests we'll figure something out we'll figure out a method for this but uh uh, we're also very shortly here it might take a week or so because uh because uh, you know life, 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 life and shit. But we're going to be starting up uh, another uh, little show here that um, the real fake news, and we're going to be bringing in all kinds of uh, people we can get and just talking about the news of the day, like stuff like what Tom Petty is doing. And is, is that going to be paywall content? That's going to be no. That's going to be uh, straight up YouTube safe content. Um, oh, and uh, but behind the paywall for all you paywall people, and thank you again out there. We have uh, our YouTube rabbit hole series where we just go down a whole whatever YouTube suggests, and we proceed to talk shit about it and see what happens. See what, Beavis and Butthead ain't got shit on us. Let yeah, them exactly. Build their own little this, narrative there. This is this us. this show. The pod scene is Beavis and Butthead, but with more Bernie Sanders. Yeah, about we'll burn, bro. <laughs> yeah, I am feeling. Burn, no I am feeling that burn. burn. And speaking of the burn, uh, we got to jump right into uh, an actual song. Sorry, PewDiePie. Um, <laughs> but uh, this is what was playing right after the guy shot Tom Petty, shot all those muzzies, and jumped in his van to drive away, and proceeded this to shoot out man. the window. Oh yeah, I shot out the windshield. That was pretty crazy <sighs> yeah and uh and this is the song that was playing he obviously made a playlist for his <laughs> attack and it wasn't all tom petty songs he's yeah. not a narcissist yep. well, what is this the crazy world of arthur brown huh but That's i've always crazy. liked this song that organ and now you sound. Like it more? I like this video. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's intense. It's the top of the pops. So he was doing this live on television. Wow, with a burning yeah. headdress. Wow. Yeah, and crazy corpse paint. Where's this guy uh, from? I never, never seen these guys. I've I have never not, heard of him. I have not uh, heard of this guy. I just know this song. Fire? Yeah, I don't even know this. To destroy all you've done. Tom Petty originally planned to uh, burn the mosque. And you can tell by all the freaking cans back there. I bet you he just got so filled with adrenaline that he just kind of forgot. Apparently there were five people. He was driving away and went, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, all right. Yeah, apparently there were five people in on it. I, I haven't heard anything or seen anything about the other five. One of them just defected to Israel um, oh. for sanctuary. Yeah, um, which is Which strange. is kind of funny for, for Nazis. But, um, you know, you never know these days. 
But Nazis yeah. are totally I mean, Jews, Nazis bro. come in all flavors now. All right, let, let's, uh, so this guy... He lost um, the headdress, now he's got body paint. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's also known as the, uh, God of Hellfire. English. Um, what, what year? Uh, he associated with Hendrix and Zappa. I think, yeah, that, I can see that. I think the thing said this was from 68. Yeah, that seems right. That, that organ sound. Yeah. So good. So how would you mic up an organ like that? Because there's not a line out on, on a tube organ, is there? I don't know how that works. Are you micing organ? Yeah, just a little. I mean, obviously, a pipe organ, you would have to mic the pipe areas, but uh, a little organ, a little tube organ like that. Organs generally have. Yeah, like a little uh, quarter inch out. Most things do. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, I haven't really worked with any. Because I've never real had to do organs, an organ but, before. Um. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how yeah, how I they bet, would have done so, it back in those so days. So I bet if, if Marty's listening, he'll tell us, because he, he used to collect old organs like that. So Marty, back in 68, how would you have mic'd up an organ like that? Your mom collects us old know. organs. Call, call what, in on the show and let's, let's have that conversation, man. What kind of organ man. did he have there? I, uh, couldn't, I couldn't see what kind it was. I'll tell you how to mic it up in two minutes if I could yeah, see it's, it. Um, oh, yeah, Google. Google is a beautiful thing. Well, it says here on uh, his, his band back in the day. Um, let me see here. Because uh, Danger's got all that kind of gear, and there's, there's you know, those electric organs, so they all have line, line outs on them. Yeah, I guess that would make sense, but okay. Yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah, know I where it generates a sound, but that's where you fucking mic it. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you can mic I underneath the piano, you can stereo right. inside the, a, a baby grand. You know, like there's all kinds of methods for, for. But if it's but if it's an organ, like let's let's say hypothetically, you can get it to produce sound. Would there? Uh, it would probably be a speaker that it would be coming out if like the the quarter inch out or whatever the line out was. If that wasn't working for some reason, you had to mic it. You would just mic. The speaker, maybe? Yeah, it's a uh, Hammond, by the way. Okay. Um, don't, doesn't say what kind of Hammond. Um, Hammonds, H- Hammonds are ha- probably have, have light, out. have line outs. And if this was some kind of uh, early, like, a, you know, acoustic organ or whatever, I'm sure you would just stereo mic wherever the sound. Wherever I, the I, sound I don't know how that works. Was. You know, a pipe organ makes sense, but I, I don't know how a small a small gigging organ would 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 yeah. work without a line out i don't know where it would generate the sound the whole point of an of a, of a of a pipe organ is it's fucking huge and it like rumbles in the tubes like if you had like a small little thing you pipes. wouldn't get the you wouldn't get get the timbre that you would out of a real or, right. organ and you would have to generate that sound in another way i assume electronically and then you would have a line out so uh yeah the um uh, there's there's no bass or guitar on that track. It's just a drummer and uh, the organist and then the uh, the horns that come in there um, it's Doing it all like um, the, the doors, but more so it's like the doors without that guitar yeah. player um, And that uh, that helmet he was wearing with the flaming helmet um, It was improvised with a leather skull cap onto which was bolted a metal dish that held lighter fluid and the cap was not insulated, so the heat from the burning fuel quickly conducted through the fixing bolt to the top of the guy's head, causing him considerable pain. So, uh, so to be a proper artist and wear your flaming helmet so you can sing in a song that will be uh, used later by some crazed mass murderer, you have, to, you have to burn the top of your head a little bit. You have to f- suffer for art, is the point here. True art must suffer. It's true. All right. Suffering is art. Yes. Whoa, dude. Whoa, man. Whoa, That's whoa, just got deep. Whoa, whoa burn, bro. Oh, yeah. I am feeling that burn. And this guy <laughs> felt the burn. Arthur Brown felt the burn. Very much. Um, let me see here. So uh, we have, we have uh, a couple headlines here. Um, Head right. They're all mine in the secondary thing. None of them are any important. 
Yeah, there, there, there aren't all that much in the way of important headlines right now. Um, Somebody died. Just Tom Petty. The surf, surf yeah. guitar guy died. Yes, uh, that, that's oh, in there. Oh, that's right. We, uh, Dick Dale. We yep. might as well get right onto the, uh, the track because we're talking about that. Play another song. But uh, I don't know much about the guy, but he's like the, the god daddy of surf guitar. Yeah, the founder. Yep. He's the first guy to turn up a, a guitar amp, apparently. <laughs> yeah, well, to, to crank the He was the reverb. touring up until very, very recently. Well, uh, the article I read said he had to tour because he had, like, eight kinds of cancer or whatever, or at least rectal and cancer. I don't know. He had all, all kinds of medical sense. issues that he had to tour just, just to afford the treatment. Uh, and uh, also, I think he blew up 20, and he was like... Fender sponsored him in the day, like when they I'm were sure. early shit, and they were just handing him amps, and I think he blew up because he was he amps. He's like, yeah. and, 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 and like listen to that tone. Very uh, limited amount of time. I love that Middle Eastern scale. Yep. Just get a little, get a little hot rod deluxe, baby. Yep. I'm sure that's what he's playing. Yeah, in this song. Uh... Ooh, we should play it goes that. all Mexican here. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, surf music is good music. Oh, yeah. I love surf music. Surf music did nothing wrong. Wipeout. Wipe love Wipeout. I'm pretty sure that's a Dick Dale, too. No, uh, that's the uh, Surfaris. Oh, is it? Like, everything's run through spring reverb. <laughs> Sounds like the drums are run through spring reverb. They have that nice, splashy kind of crunch to them, those drums. It's a good track. Piano, uh, yeah, trumpet, all kinds of stuff. I, I, haven't heard, I haven't heard surf music with this much instrumentation. This is... Like, you can see how this influenced uh, Mr. Bungle's guitarist, who's, uh, like, his other project, um, oh, what was it called? Tomahawk? No, the guitarist from Rare. from Mr. Bungle. Lizard? No. Um, uh, he isn't in either of those. Um, Jesus, he has right. his own project. I forget what it's called, damn it. But it's very like this. Middle Eastern scales, surf guitar tones. Yeah. Um, but, uh... Very good stuff. So that guy, that guy died, and that is a shame. It is a shame. That is the, the is real tragedy here, um, aside from all this, uh, aside from what Tom Petty did for gay rights, because uh, I, in the manifesto, he did state that part of his goal was to make a strike against the, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the Muslims for their treatment of gay folks. And uh, I don't know, we, we, we here don't support killing people for the sake of sexuality. Like, if you, if you really want to spread your gay imperialism, all right, uh, I guess that's cool to go and do it yourself solo, but dude, I don't want my tax money being spent on going and bombing Iran because they don't like gay people. Like, uh... You know, you know, war you know, war, war, for war for gay rights, rights, is, rights is, is, gay. is gay. Yeah, it's pretty gay. And, and so when war is gay and terrorism is gay... He's a fag! Well, what, what, what can what you even can trust, trust anymore? anymore? Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. Say it again. Say it again. But, but um, um, yes. yes, yes, yes. So, 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 in, in other news, um, apparently, like... There's been some stuff going on with Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit has been in the fucking news. Really? Have they? That's that's crazy because uh, we got a request for Limp Biscuit. Oh uh, really? Yeah. Uh, Nucky? I don't know. Why I figured we'd let uh, Frankie pick which Limp Biscuit song. Oh, we have just a general. Somebody just yeah. wanted a Limp Biscuit song. Yeah. Well, it was uh, it was uh, an Instagram thing that I went on. He said something about Limp Biscuit, and I was like, "We Limp Biscuit." And then uh, he, s uh, he said, "Play it on the show," and I said, "Leave a message." And we'll fuck you. You know what I mean? There are some. Gr there's at least one page entirely devoted to Limp Biscuit memes on Facebook, and uh, it's it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Um, so. 
Fred Durst. So what's the news? Well, Fred Durst uh, organized a live jazz night in L.A. Um, and Lady Gaga showed up for a set. Um, and I don't know what <laughs> either of those people are doing playing jazz. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that's a Lady Gaga's weird. got Though, the voice for it. Yeah. So Lady Gaga, she's got a, a Vegas residency right now, and uh, I guess it's like a fifty-fifty shot. Either you're gonna get her hits, or you're gonna get like her jazz night. Uh-huh. She's doing that on Ve- on the Vegas stage. Uh huh. Oh, she's the next Tom Jones. Oh yeah. What the fuck's going on? Yeah, oh, it's it's yeah yeah apparently. it's saying that in this article here. Um. Yeah. Um, so yeah, she she came in and uh, uh, did a couple of Sinatra songs and uh, it, with with at a fucking Fred Durst. That's fucking weird. Yeah. Dude. Like, uh, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, it doesn't say anything more about Limp Bizkit. This is all about Gaga. When the moon hits your eye, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right. What what is this <laughs> other news about? Uh, <laughs> About Limp Biscuit because th- I thought there was more than just Lady Gaga. Um, uh, yeah, this the Limp Biscuit's been in the fucking um, in the in the media lately in the music media, which is weird because I didn't, you know, it's, what whatever happened to them? They're just not there. But yeah, they're I don't back. Know. So you can take that cookie. Yeah, you, let's play Dookie. Uh, uh, no. Is that the I was I was gonna say uh, propaganda because that's off of a better album. We have we, we have all, done we've done propaganda both of those songs. Yeah. Um, we did we did I thought we just did the truth. Oh, propaganda! You're talking not yeah. Dumb. Propaganda is is the is the first song off of yes um, unquestionable truth. The truth is the song that we did last time when we were talking about. Well, this. we can do that one too. But I want to hear a nookie. Fine, let's do it all for the nookie band. I guess I we're, we're going to double down on Limp Biscuit, Yeah. And, and we'll yeah. play the, uh, the, the uh, uncensored version, I guess, if I can find a, yes. the video of that. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, uh, all right, da, da, da. yeah, they've been playing shows again. Um, yes, they have. They actually just did a... They actually just did a... Uh, Three dollar headline spot at the Troubadour. I feel like in yep, LA. That's what this article is talking about. Uh, Manson showed up um, yeah. uh, on my way, um, and Billy Corgan. Machine Gun Kelly and Billy Corgan too. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's come on. <coughs> There's a video. <laughs> What's that umbrella? It's a big middle finger. <laughs> What's that hat, bro? <laughs> yeah, dude looks... Uh, <laughs> That's what he's been wearing on stage recently. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm surprised he doesn't have his gloves on, too. He's looking old. Yeah, dude. I kind of want to hate... I think he, he's, he's like chilled out now. I bet you he's pretty cool to chill with now. You know, 10 years ago, probably not, but... Yep. Yeah, now he's probably just like some kind of old boomer. Yeah, he's all <laughs> the bottom ducks. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a boomer. He's a Gen X. I know, but yeah, he looks total boomer You become there. a boomer. Bo- boomer is boomer is boomer a is lifestyle, age, bro. It, it, com- it comes with age. We will all be boomers in our in our old age. Well, not necessarily. If 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 you can like work social media and. Uh, you know, then you're not so much. It's just when you when you type with one finger and and uh, you can't figure <laughs> out your phone, then you're a boomer. It doesn't matter yep. <laughs> when you when you were born. At that point. Yep. So we will uh, follow along. I bet the Limp Biscuit official version would be uncensored. The uh, I think this this video version is just plain old censored. Oh, so I'm maybe just gonna, it's the yeah. Yep. Just play it right from one of these. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Woo. Yeah. This is legit a great riff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wes Borland is fucking riff master, dude. He's On like a got five all string, the good riffs. five string guitar. Uh huh. With some fucked up tuning. 
that tripped me out when I watched the the uh, Woodstock video the first time, watching him play this song. It's like, where'd all the strings go in his guitar? Yep. I came into this world as a reject. Look into the these altered drums. I, oh, so the the, the um. I don't remember where I was going. I it, fucking thought train just derailed. Why do you keep doing this, bro? I'm I could probably. I'm gonna have to remove you. Yeah, remove. Oh, physically yes, remove up. that. Maybe uh, it's if I hit T. You know what it is? Should be. But should I be feeling good? It'd be a damn shame if I, they saw that thing for the majority of this video. Oh yeah, but they won't. They won't now for sure. Unless it comes back. Oh, Tom Petty. It's a ghost. Yep. Yep, well, Tom Petty. I could Petty. probably still sing every fucking song on this album, by the way. <laughs> I don't think I've ever listened to a, an entire Limp Bizkit album aside from the uh, Unquestionable Besides Truth. The Unquestionable Truth, because yeah. that's a fucking great record. Yep. Um, yeah, I remember I remember fucking waiting for this album to come out and I got it the first day and just nothing but this for like six months. <laughs> what, three dollar bill? Or no, significant no, other. Significant other. Yeah, okay. Because I, I had found Limp Bizkit after the three dollar bill had already been released. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that you're you're old between that old. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I heard Counterfeit was the first song I ever heard, and then when they put out Faith, I was like, well, I'm buying this record. Significant Other's a good record, too, man. I like that. Significant I, Other's okay. It's got good flow. I just, it's I got feel got like, I feel like this is where they got the, the elements of their sound that I don't really appreciate as much. Like, Three Dollar Bill was is by far their best record, and then they kind of stripped everything away again for Unquestionable Truth. But everything between Three Dollar Bill and Unquestionable Truth is like all of this overproduction and these. Uh huh. It got it got uh, worse after this, but whiny it, whiny lyrics. And, the same thing yeah. kind of happened oh, with Corn. Same thing kind of happened with Corn at the same time. Follow, Follow the Leader was a good record, just yes. like I think this was a good record. But both of them was a clear a. Um, Moving into a new phase, starting to go into a new direction yeah. that they that yeah. they that they didn't take. Um, difference difference there though is Corn put out three killer records before Follow the Leader. So yeah, 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 yeah. or two killer records. Yeah, yeah. Corn and, and uh, Life is Peachy, but they yeah. uh, these guys had one before Significant Other, right? That, that it was it's true. Yeah. yeah, just three dollar bill. Yeah, yeah that uh, I like that snare sound. Yeah, I I so I fucking love the layering that they do. Like that's one of the things that they added really well as of Significant Other. Cuz in $3 Bill, what DJ Lethal does is like kind of tries to sound like a guitar, so it sounds like they have two guitars in, in sections. Uh-huh. But on on Significant Other, he became atmosphere. Yep. And that I feel like was a great direction for him to go. Yep. But just in general, they're leaning too hard on Fred's mediocre fucking rhyme skills. Yeah, yeah. I, I I read that uh, this song pisses Wes Borland off because he loved the riff and does not like the no, lyrics. He doesn't like, doesn't lyrics. like, like yep, Nookie's and Cookies. Too. Yeah, Nookie was originally the like the uh, test name for the song. Like, uh, we're, we're, we don't have anything yet, so we're just gonna call it Nookie because. Oh, something we can write in our notebook. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and and then Fred Durst had a breakup and got all uh, got all some kind of uh, <laughs> whiny bitch about it, and it's like, yep. hey man, this this is this song is now about me and my ex girlfriend. Yeah, and because uh, I like to cry on albums these days. Yep, and I'm gonna talk about how the only reason I was with her was for the nookie and I'm hardcore and look at me Fred Durst hey I have no idea what uh, kind of I, Durst kind of sounds like a German name um, I think so yeah it's it's Slavic of some sort hmm he looks German enough yeah um, let me see here why aren't you doing Propaganda. that why aren't you doing that thing YouTube it's weird I think weird it's not popping in uh, the video size isn't switching over huh um probably because it's not proper video i don't know 
propaganda by Limp, Limp Biscuit. Biscuit. So we have a double dose of Limp Biscuit for you today, yeah. Podziners. Um, Lucky it's, motherfuckers. It's uh, just they're they're obvi- they obviously need to be promoted right now. So um, they're they're pushing. Well, they're for it. Uh, apparently working on the Stampede of the Disco Elephants album, which has been their fucking Chinese democracy. Yeah, I, I don't know, but the uh, they say Tool is always about ready to release a new album too, and that Tool's Tool's going on tour in May, so their really? plan is to release the album sometime in May. Yeah. Oh shit. Mm. Yep. 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 That, I don't want to go to that show. That just happened like two weeks ago. No. Here it comes. Yeah. Long feedback intro. Love it. I like how communist China this is. Yeah, that's... I like to go for <laughs> communist China aesthetics, not Nazis. Yeah. Speaking of Tom Petty. Exactly. Ooh. I love this riff. I, I love all of Wes's riffs, on, well, especially on this album. Bro, it's it's a perfect uh, perfect interplay between bass and guitar. That just yeah. with the ding 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 ding. Yeah, I love that dude. Wes's yeah. right hand. So fucking badass. How do you palm mute that fast? I thought we played this on the pod, Dean. I know I listen, I've heard it. Yeah, I, I've played it a few times. But um, we played another song. From I don't it. think we played it on the show, though. No. We played uh, The Truth yep. on the show. Fairy screaming to be scary. Sell it to the innocent. And Sam comes lockstep on that chorus right there. Oh, yep. so great. Yep. That guitar tone, too. Yeah. Wes's... So, it was... It, the tone was also something that they locked in as of Significant Other. Because, like, it was kind of there for $3 bill, but Significant Other was like, oh, that's Wes's signature sound now. Yep. Yeah, these things take time. Yep. One of the greats of the 90s. They're not touring, are they? Well, no, they're playing. not yet. I don't they're know, playing but... random shows, but yeah. they're reportedly working on a record right now. Like, they keep posting stuff to the Instagram uh, from the studio. Is Wes going to be all fucking face painted still, or is he always, too old for that always. yet? Always, always. Oh, no, always. He goes all out even more so now, because he's got more money to do it. Now, that that guitar tone has, is, like... What? That guitar tone is beautifully scooped in a very unique way. Like, it's, it's scooped in the mids, but not like the trashy fucking it's scooped and filtered. What a narrow, so. a narrow... A very well-crafted, narrow See, scoop. Right there on the screen right now. That's what he does live now. Yep. Fucking Kiss. Looks like <laughs> the cat the cat guy from Kiss there. Whatever his name is. Yep. Oh, that's blackface. That's half blackface. Yeah. You can't do that there, Wes. Are you some kind of Nazi? Well, yeah, you're talking about communist China. I don't like, I don't like this uh, spread here. No, this is yeah the the vocal style right, (laughs) but he's not trying to he's not overly hip hoppy on this record, which I think was a great decision. Yeah, because he's not the best lyricist. He's not the best fucking rhymer ever. He has a really weak flow. Yeah, for sure. He's he's the weakest link. Ooh. Yeah, most of these are are pretty recent pictures. Yeah, I mean they still have DJ Lethal in them, so they're not that recent because he's not. Last I heard, anyway, he's not in the band anymore. Hmm. Oh yeah, and it is propaganda, people. And there ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> it's, it's it's just like communist China, like Tom Petty wants to bring around for all of us. He wants the social credit system applied so that. Uh, 
all of your Facebook posts, all of your everything in social media gets counted into your social credit score. Everything you think <laughs> gets counted into your social credit score. It's coming, people. And uh, if you vote burn, you will destroy China. Yes. Bernie will nuke China. I'm pretty sure that he will. It's in his platform. Go look it up, people. Oh, yes. And then the random, like, looping shit at the end. Well, I guess that means it's time for a little more, uh, another headline. Um, <laughs> if, uh, if we have all that much, uh, um, oh, so they're, they're finally, uh, they're, they're making a movie about the, the Killdozer guy, not the band Killdozer. I'm talking about the dude who built the Killdozer. I don't know what that is. Um, that I don't is, know what that is either. Um, have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Um, I don't believe so. <laughs> some dude in Colorado who basically built his own tank. Uh, upcoming documentary, Tread, uh, will take an inside look at the man and his armored machine, which is outfitted with nearly impenetrable steel and a few automatic weapons. And so this right here is the kill dozer. What the hell is that? Whoa. Uh, he did this in 2004. Apparently he's from Colorado. Granby. Huh. Um, he just... A muffler shop owner named Marvin <laughs> Haymayer um, got, uh, got angry about a zoning dispute in Granby, Colorado. Uh, so he decided to teach the city a lesson by building a homemade armored bulldozer in his garage and using it to obliterate the town hall and ex-mayor's house on an angry rampage. Wow. So, so this that guy, is base. this guy is, you know, it's it's like the Virgin Tom Petty and the Chad Killdozer guy. <laughs> like, if you want to take activism, Bernie Sanders-style activism, into your own hands. You could go and build yourself a kill dozer, not yeah. kill anybody. It sounds like he just uh, knocked down a guy's house just and not the town hall. Just leveled a couple of buildings, whatever. Just a little bit of destruction of city government property, the one percent property, yep. mind you, yeah. and uh, and not going and uh, making a whole bunch of people look bad because they uh, you've associated yourself with them, like PewDiePie. Uh, and PewDiePie is taking the blame for something that Tom Petty did, and uh, he should not take that blame. But instead, we should all build kill dozers. We should all build kill dozers. Wow, he, so he killed himself this. inside, and it took him 12 hours to get in to get to get to retrieve his body. Oh wow! This is a tape. Oh, he killed this himself. When we first arrived on scene, and yeah. it looked like uh, officers that standing sucks. on a hill above this uh, earth mover turned tank <gasps> were firing some pretty heavy arms at him, trying to find a weak spot, trying to find some way to uh, immobilize. This span was now on the east side of Granby in what's called an independent propane company yard. We thought for a time he might actually be taking out some of the propane tanks. Propane and, and propane like accessories. And then he took off and Dang it, Bobby. to the downtown area again. Dang it, Bobby. Me, photographer David Gregg is going to fast forward some of the videotape, show you just a little bit of some of the uh, crazy things that this man has done over the course of the past hour and a half. And again, we want to emphasize that sucks that he killed himself. That's yep. Yeah, pretty, that's the pretty cool what a coward. Yep. The back end of the yeah, well, store. Oh, probably expected to be shot as soon as he got out. Yeah. yeah. The, the sort of person who builds something like this and goes on this kind of rampage no more it's is not the sort of person who surrenders you guys have some questions that you would like to pass along those those that's are true tanks that he was kind of milling about over a zoning well, dispute who, 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 who i want to know what the deal <laughs> was <laughs> what, what was he trying to do sense. i know it all started about three o'clock this well afternoon. and Where it doesn't he necessarily he matter because he fucking killed himself so yeah. they still won in the end well you know it's you do so you do something like tom petty has done i could see killing yourself I, i'm surprised that I'm surprised he didn't. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Why? How do you go and shoot 50 people and not kind of, you know? Did like, they, and then did they shoot Tom Petty? No, he's alive. He's alive and in, in jail. And arrested? Yeah, yeah. in custody. Wow. Um, and he's been flashing the white supremacist uh, hand gesture. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is totally white supremacy. It he'll, is. He'll escape and uh, drop another album, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. But but this guy. Uh, 
you know, what, he destroyed some property? I mean, that that's pretty base. So, you know, worst comes to worst, he's that's deal with, you know, the legal yep. issues from that. But he, if, if, if he had a bunch of weapons on board, yeah, if he, but if he, if he, if he didn't kill like he killed anybody. Yeah, if he didn't kill anybody, then what are you put, putting an end to your life for, you know? Yeah, it's not like you're a murderer. You're just, you, you know, you may be, they may be firing on you, but if you have some way of communicating, hey, I'm surrendering, white flag out the roof of the thing, I'll come out. And then I'll deliver, you know, my speech, a very John Galt kind of speech at my trial. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... This is fine. And then, you know, uh, do whatever time necessary. And, but, nope. John Galt. Howard Rourke, and nigga. Yep. Half a dozen buildings in Granby, a town of about 1,500, about yeah. 50 miles Instead, west of the kinda, in Grand County. I don't know. This, yeah. this, this is totally Howard Rourke blowing and t- shit up and Luann, tearing down buildings. Yeah. Tell me. That's Howard Rourke as fuck. Vote burn, read Ayn Rand. Yep. Anybody in there? Did you ever get a look at both the person who's Both great people. White supremacists, both of them. Outfitted it to act like a tank. All right, all right. Let me uh, so skip forward here. Like, oh, there we go. There's some action. So, Fuck yeah. So Gramby, Gramby's just <laughs> south of uh, Boulder in Middle Park. Trying to figure out how to get uh-huh. there. I'm sure police officers, sheriffs, deputies. Yeah, this is for a time that that's he was nuts, part, dude. Trying to keep their distance. Wow. Take cover. Actually Fuck. took cover, as you can see there, behind the scraper. But they yeah, see, that's that's the way to do it, man. That's pretty unique that's way of handling money business. for nothing and checks for free. Exactly. And that's not so that hard necessarily to no make something like that. There are the bulldozers around. There's metal around. So the yeah, yeah, you just got to acquire a bunch of scrap metal over Well, if you want to buy a $150,000 backhoe and then modify it with another $150,000, sure. Oh, yeah, but, you know, if you're if you're somebody who's uh, like this and a, a, a business owner in a position to make some investments in vehicles, why not build yourself a kill dose? Yep. You know, you don't have to use it to kill. This guy did. So there's a there's a band who named themselves Killdozer as well. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of a band called Killdozer before I ever heard about the Killdozer. Maybe we should play one of their songs since I, I we just watched if, that whole thing about the Killdozer. I don't know if they're any good. Oh, well, let's find but, out, huh? Well, it's, let's it's, let's this, make this fun is, of them. I think this is the place good. to go to find out if music is good or not. Right here, we are the the deciders. At least I thought there was a band called Killdozer. Uh, if uh, there's not, no, there, there definitely should be. There's a throne. Or is this a what Dope is Throne has a song called Killdozer? Whoa. No, this is a band called Dope Throne, which is a band named after an album by Electric yeah, Wizard. Yeah, I was gonna say well, Electric Wizard's Dope yeah. Throne. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is that. That's not an Electric Wizard. That's somebody who named uh, themselves that's a good after point. Electric Wizard cover thinking. band who wrote an original about the Killdozer. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Okay, there's uh, well, kill those eight, are Snake Boy eighty five. Wow. Whoa. All right, let's, uh, let's maybe this guy was a fan of theirs, and that's why he named it that. Yeah. If he did, that could just be something the media thought up because hey, that's cool. Touche. Not at all what I expected from a name like that so yeah, far. Yeah. Right. No. Maybe it gets crazy in a second. Killdozer is from Madison, Wisconsin. Ooh, I didn't ha! know that. Yeah. Yeah. Wisconsin. They took the name from a 1974 TV movie, which is based on somebody's short story. And I come from the state of Texas. I am the king of sex. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Yeah, they're trying to be a uh, butthole surfer, sounds like. Yeah, they're around that era. Um, yeah, let me see here. Uh, apparently, they uh, developed a jaded left wing political perspective. Oh, Who no thought? way. In Madison? No. Who would have thought? Weird. Uh, yeah, they, they played. That's probably why I've heard of them. They played with the butthole surfers. Um, ah. And. Uh, Scratch Acid and Big Black were all part of that same scene. Uh, frequently recorded with Butch Vig and Steve Albini. Um, really? Yep. Butch Vig uh, had a... Not, not this record, then. So 12- Butch Vig was in Madison at the Smart Studio. That's uh, I think he produced uh, Nir- uh, Nirvana's 
which record is that? It's not. Ne- uh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Twelve Point Buck is an album of theirs that uh, brought Butch Vig to the attention of Kurt Cobain and Billy Corgan. Ooh, wow. So they heard mm. this band. They heard uh, Butch Vig produce this band, and then they're like, "Hey." We, we dig it. Let's do it. Huh. Maybe you should come do uh, our little Nirvana band. Yep. Yep. Uh, apparently, I've never heard of uh, Dan Hobson. He's apparently remained active in the Madison music scene. He's the drummer from here. Uh, up. Uh, he's uh, he's in a band with one of the dudes from the Gomers. Oh, I was about to. I was about to say uh, that. But of course, that's how do you not wow. if you're in the Madison yeah, scene? Yeah. I knew it. Yep. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you're not all that good, Killdozer. Sorry. No. Nope. At least, at least the first song off of Snake Boy is not all that impressive. You're a, you're a, a low rent. It was grooving. A low rent butthole. It wasn't. Uh, yeah, it wasn't. You know. Nothing special. Not just kind special. of shitty punk rock. But speaking of, I think we should go to our requests. Oh, uh, we can do that. Hey, hey. I'm gonna play. Uh, all right, I'm gonna play this one because. Uh, I want to make a point. Make a point. Um, uh, well, you're not being ignored, friend. You're. Uh, I don't know if uh, you yeah, have bad signal or whatever, but we can't, we can't make out what your request is. We we want to play it. We feel bad that uh, we can't, but we, we can't. So call in and request again. But I'll, I'll play it. If this is you, guy, call in next week and request it again. Try to, you know, uh, talk louder or something. I, I don't know. It's probably a phone issue. I'm not sure, but yep. Sounds goes. like a connection yeah, issue. And they're bottom text. They're towards the end. It kind of got a little louder, so it was some kind of uh, I don't know. But well, we tried. I, I we, we stop swallowing your microphone, and you'll be all right. Well, we we I put I put it in headphones. We we cranked it in the PA to try and see, and see could, what it was. We just we, we just can't decipher, brother. Uh, nine 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 oh eight area code, bro. If uh, whoever you is, uh, call in again. We uh, we apologize. And yep. and pull pull the pull the microphone a little bit farther away from your face. It's modern technology. It can still understand what you're saying. I promise. Yeah, I don't know if that's what it is. It could have been a, who knows what it was. It could have been a, not, yeah, service issue or something. Yeah, it sounds. Yeah, sounds it could have been. Signally, it's a very, very low volume. Yeah, but too. anyway, we apologize. We we, we can't do it because yep. we because we don't know what you're talking about, bro. Yep. But uh, but let this be a lesson to all of you. Have good audio. <laughs> it's what we do. Yeah. Right. All right. I'm gonna play the next one. Okay. So uh, guys. This is Blake, obviously. It's hard to hide my voice. But play some Brutal Attack or, or uh, maybe Skullhead. Limp Biscuit's a big, good one to throw in there. And it, you guys need to learn how to play Pearl Jam. I was quite disappointed that you don't <laughs> know any Pearl Jam songs. Okay, see you guys. Yeah, so for those of you guys who uh, don't know Blake, he's over there at Radio Werewolf, who I just, uh, um, uh, I think we, uh, we wrote his theme song, didn't we? Yeah. For, for his show, is it uh, Activism and Entertainment, Wolfman's Activism and Entertainment? Yep. Um, Join the pack! Join the pack! Oh! Yeah, so anyway, he was the Limp Bizkit guy that, uh, yep. ah. so we already played played that, but uh, what he's referring to with us playing Pearl Jam is uh, sometimes we stream live when we're doing, uh, we're just, you know, have a couple beers and we're, we're in the jam room and we're like, fuck it, let's stream it live. And he hopped on the chat and was trying to get us to play Pearl Jam and we're like, bro, we don't know no Pearl Jam, so... I um, haven't learned no Pearl Jam so covers yet. So from time to time, yet, we do go live and, and jam. Uh, so keep your eyes out for that. And w- with yep. a bit of luck, we'll, we'll do that more often once we, uh, we get a flow down. But, yeah, we uh, want to get on a regular schedule with that eventually. But regular schedules? <laughs> we're musicians. Yeah, we're, we're, difficult we're, to we're, come by. Yeah, <laughs> we're working musicians, which I know that's an oxymoron. Yep. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a professional musician. That's also an oxymoron. Yep. Yes. All right, so let's hear a... Ooh. Ooh, it's yeah, inappropriate. It's inappropriate. It's going to be good. Oh, YouTube has flagged it. It, it must be a Nazi band. The 
did you look them up or did you take my link? Oh, you have a link. Dude. I mean, we. This is cool. I don't. I don't. I just picked a random song since you didn't. Yeah, that's pretty much one. what I did. But I picked one that sounded cool. I don't know, but this is cool little yep. acoustic riff. Here or whatever. I lay embraced by the blood of the mud. Just a splinter floating in this human blood. Bought to my knees. Nice and uh, minor. Yep. Now I know that my life is behind me. White sounds sad. Yep. Up. Major. It's all skinnered out. Yeah. <laughs> Skinner! Straight up country road, take me home here. Yeah. Should have ended that with like a symbol. Yep. Something to de- to de- to decay that uh, transition. If in my opinion. Yep. Yeah, you can tell this this drummer is not the strength of the band. So far, I'm pure emotion is the strength of this band. G. No, this is G. This is D. Like a, it's a like minor. A, A, C, G, D kind of thing. Yeah, A, C, G, D. Yeah. Old whispering wings, oh, my journey yep. has begun, and I cry. Carry me home. <laughs> back to the G or something. Go all major with it. Yep. And they carry me home, my healing So, yeah, it, the one I picked was, was, I think, a heavier one. Yeah, but... But uh, Blake got his limp biscuit in a double dose. Yeah, he so, did. <laughs> uh, yeah. So he could take some uh, some nice chill, mournful, some acoustic. chill Bernie, some chill Bernie, yeah. bro. Shit. Feel that burn. Feel the burn, man. Bros. Oh my God, feel yeah, that bro. burn. Yeah. I like the bass tone. Yeah. Not so much a performance. Yeah, the the middle of the tone. There's no attack on it. Yeah, I like I like bass uh, with no attack. Uh, depending on the context, sometimes you want it to. Yeah, in this context, it works. And in yeah. this context, it works very well. But it's lacking. It's, it's not filling up enough notes. Not holding the notes yeah. as long. And uh, stick into roots. Like, I'll be unable to do that. I'd have to get more melodic with it. At least you can hear it. Yeah, right? Most music, it's they bury the bass. Yeah, that's... I wrote this song before. Yeah, yeah. I've written this song a couple times, yeah. and it's a good song. Yeah, it's not bad. Yep. That's the great thing about folk music. You can just repeat the same chord progressions and entirely new combinations of parts, you know? A, C, G, D, and throw in an E chord unexpectedly. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You got him. <laughs> you got him. This vocalist almost reminds me of Gibby Haynes. Except serious, not tripping on LSD. Oh, yeah. More like high on, uh, like... Blood and fit. soil. Yeah, blood and soil. <laughs> blood and soil. It's got a nice uh, melancholy flavor to it for uh, for its fairly um, under, uh, how's a good way to say this, it's uh, 
non-advanced musically, performance-wise. But it's got everything you need for a song. Yeah. No frills. Yep. You don't need them. It's tight, tight enough. To the point. Yep. Good, uh, like I'd have to so, hear some, some good their, song structure. Yeah. I'd have to hear some of their heavier stuff to know about them as a tight band. This is a good, uh, very good in that style. And you can, uh, I don't know. Sounds uh, good and honest. Yeah, see, we're liars here. Yeah. And we do not believe in honesty. Eh, we, we like it. For y'all. For other people, yes. <laughs> y'all can be honest with us. That's cool. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, yeah, if you guys aren't aware, Podzeners, if you call uh, the number 737-471-Zine, you can make a request. You, dear listener. Yes, 737-471-Z-E-E-N. 737-471-Zine. And please do not forget to sign up for our paywall where you can receive deluxe paywall content that we will be adding to. Yes, that we'll be making more of very soon. This summer's about to pop off. Okay, guys? Yeah. Been slow in the winter. Slow and gay. Slow and gay. Just like your mom. Whoa. Damn. But yes, we have a paywall. You can, uh, I think, we can do one-time donations, right? Do we have a one-time donation? Not yet. Well, we do Damn. for, we do for uh, Bitcoin and Monero, which I don't know if that works yet. Uh, because uh, I am an ignoramus when it comes to crypto. So, uh, maybe... Maybe it works to give us a one-time donation in crypto, but uh, we don't know yet. We would like some crypto. So, so if somebody free. wants to try and uh, let me know if it completely fucks up on you and doesn't work, that would be sweet. Yeah, send us an email and we can, we, can, we, can, we can fix it, but until somebody tries it, we don't know. Yep. We also have things for sale. Yes, we do. The uh, Karl Marx Derp shirt, for one thing. The, uh, uh, the Mein Kampfer shirt. Which uh, is entirely triggering and will probably get you assaulted in the streets, but it's a hell of a funny joke. We might do another, uh, we might do a Mind Camper light shirt we were thinking of here yes, for, for the, the Bernie Bros. But yeah, without the windmill of friendship on it. Um, you know, maybe a little smiley face. A smiley with face a, with, a with, a stash, with, a, with a Charlie Chapman stash or something. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, and the AIDS Lincoln shirt. Ooh. Uh, I forget what else is up there, but we'll... We'll have more, more, more is soon. coming. More soon, but we are about to step it up 17 notches. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, so uh, do we have another voicemail? We do, but do you want to... He, he also said skull face or whatever, Ooh. skull head. Ooh, skull <laughs> head. Let's, uh, let's... We don't have that many callers this week, and we also, this... this We're episode doing... is, is, is a day earlier than normal, so uh, we apologize for anyone who... Uh, thinks they have an, an extra day to get their requests in. We'll, we'll play them next week, and hopefully it won't be completely out of context. Victory or Valhalla? Whoa, yeah, that's racist, baby. bro. Of course it is. I like those tones. I like the drums are kind of buried. Heavy but hat. Yeah, drums are definitely buried. Up oh, There they are, a little more. At least that snare cuts through. Very thick snare. Yep. I have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what Valhalla means. It's. No, but maybe Bernie Sanders would know, though. You think? I think Bernie Sanders can teach us all a thing or two. About Valhalla? About Valhalla. About Valhalla. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to see what Joe Rogan says about it. <laughs> he ought to know. I mean, man, DMT, right? Yeah, right? I do. Right, guys? Yeah, you know it. 
legalize it's crazy. it. Crazy. Have you ever done DMT? Uh, you know, punk. Ooh. Yeah. It's a nice tone. Kind of filtered. Filtered yeah, guitar. Yeah, a little too much, I think. Could have played a little bit better of a solo, probably. Yeah, that too. Like the tone, though. Kind of sounds like the vocalist is singing in the shower. Yeah. There's a lot of showeriness to this mix. Wonder when this is from. Yeah, well, I'm wondering of the year. Doesn't say, huh? Nope. It says it's uh, off of CD it. Baby, though, which would be newer. These guys are part of the Rock Against Communism movement um, from England. Ooh. Huh. In the uh, 84 through 94, then they got together again and did something in 2001, 2002. Uh. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, this is from 92. That would be about when... They were, yeah. Ninety two was a strange year for re- for recording. People were starting to do uh, digital tape, and uh, you know, studios got a little cheaper than they were <laughs> previous. But I still have some di- but, some dat tape. But quality, but also you can't uh, the quality for a lot of the under the underground productions of the time. Yep. Uh, on, a, on a budget was not so good throughout the 90s, unfortunately. And you know that uh, that these uh, 99 percenters here were not able to get any kinds of loans from any one percenter type banks with uh, their kind of uh, messaging or lifestyles. So uh, it's, it's probably it's about as good as you can expect on the kind of budget that the, the struggling working musician back in the day would have to deal with but nowadays you can for cheaper than the cost of producing of of paying somebody else to record an album for you back in 92 one album that is you can buy spend the same amount of money and buy all that gear and make a hundred albums all the albums you want infinity albums and it'll sound better Yes. If you know what you're doing. Or, or, or you can uh, like uh, contact us here and we can record your album yes, for you. Like, uh, we can do it's this. True. We can do this. If you're a musician listening and you don't want to have to be bothered with all those plugins and all that mixing nonsense, all that miking. Uh, all and you that... don't do it as well as us. And no, that's of just course a fact. you don't. So. Of course you don't. Have you even, do you, do you like even listen to? To Orifice A, bro. Yeah, go go check out Orifice A.com, telepathicsandwich.com. Oh, frickin', uh, what's the name? I don't even know the name of my own album. Uh, Orificio. Uh, Orificium, Periculum Orificium. Periculum, Periculum Orificium. Orificium. That's, that's a great production. From, from Telepathic that Sandwich, is yes. Fantastic production. Oh, yes. Yes. And we did it. It was yep. us yes. all along. M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> Shaman yes. twist. Yes. yes, bitch lasagna. 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 Indeed. All right, all right. So, so those so are all our requests, requests, right? No, one more. You want to do oh. it? Oh. 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 This one's from our boy. <laughs> our boy who uh, just joined our Telegram group, and but he's I, I believe he's been with us from the from the beginning, from before the pod zine was from, a thing. From yeah. the sh- and, from and, the jump. And was uh, one of our first donors. So uh oh. So this, Here's to you. this one's for you, buddy. 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 Hey, buddy. Hey, bros. Jesse Texas here. 
just like to recommend Arch Spire, Song, uh, Calamus, Will Rising. Wait, let me check to see if that's right. Is it right? Oh my god, is it right? No, no, it's Calamus Will Animate. Oh. Uh, All right, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, Bye. shit. 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 Oh, shit. What is going on? I'm... Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh. And she was eaten? What? And she was eaten? Oh. oh. Ooh. Jeez. What is this, square pusher? Yeah, square... <laughs> square pusher metal. And listen, what is he, rap? Something Death like metal that. singing? Death metal rapping? There is a rapper that does that shit. Oh, I'm sure. This is this is pretty intense. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. I, I like can't it. say yeah. I've heard anything that sounds exactly like it. Yeah. Holy hell, that... Listen to listen to the sweeping bass. To, ooh. Oh, that tone. Filtered guitar. Yeah. Oh, oh that, that's fucking smooth. Oh, he belled it. He hit it with the bell. You always win when you can fucking transition with when the bell. You, yeah. Love it. The the bell is the shit. This drummer's feet my, are my, insane. My second favorite is the China Crash transition. China Crash. Those things are like... A, they have the most horrible sound. So much sound. wash. <laughs> so much wash. I love the wash. <laughs> These guys are uh, from Vancouver. Huh. Wow, really? These are Canadians? These are Canucks here. Surprising. Wow. See, not all socialist Americans are, are bad people. Well, burn. A lot of good people up there. Like Lil Windex. I can talk shit about Canadia all day, but uh, a lot of good people up there. See, that's an example of where I can see why it's useful to trigger a kick wow, drum every so, so often. Okay, maybe not. I was going to say, those aren't all triggered, but I, I feel like all of those kicks are triggered now. At least in Listening these a little spots. Closer. Yeah. And probably all of them, generally. I haven't heard a kick that sounds... Yeah. Separately yeah, dynamic. For a second, yeah. I thought I heard a dynamic, and it wasn't there. I think, I think the snare isn't triggered though. The snare is mostly natural. There are a couple of triggered snare sections. Uh huh. Yeah, they want you to hear every little. Yeah. Like those. Yeah. So I get it. Those trills. Mix, I'm hearing everything. Everything's oh, yeah. crystal clear. Everything's, oh, very um, much. you know, notched out properly. It's, it's good. This was recorded in Denver. Wow. Madison, Wisconsin, Denver. God damn it. In Madison and Denver? No, but that other band. Oh, yeah. The Kami band. From Kanukistan and recording in Denver. Why would they come to Denver? I don't know. Flatline Studios. Uh, I've never heard of them. Yeah, I didn't. Back, backline. Um, Fatline. Oh, Flatline. 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 Do a Flatline. Give me a Flatline, baby. Roper. I think flat. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think Flatline Studios is that crazy round building when you're driving into Denver from the north. Oh yeah. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Really? Huh. I, I know the building you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's all you gotta say. I've seen it, but I didn't. I don't know. Because I, I there, know. it's that's a that's a studio. That's a record something. Yeah, I, 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 know I always like thought that was like a. Percent. I always thought that was like a one percenter of rock and roll hangout. Uh, sure you know, record is. company that's kind of deal, not a like. studio. I'm sure it is. I'm sure. Well, but I'm like ninety sure percent. That's flatline. Huh. Well. Um. Uh, let me let me see here. So well, they uh, did pretty decent because that would be a be kind of a nightmare to work with that band uh considering all the triggers and everything going you know unless they had well, a yeah actually no because not with the way the the triggers 
work because if it's just, if you have an actual, if you're replacing it after the fact, if you're miking it up and then triggering it uh, after the fact in your, in your software, then it's going to be a, a nightmare. But if you actually take the time to put a, a MIDI trigger on that thing, which a lot of these people do in death metal, um, just put a yeah, little thing on your kick drum. But their demands, and, man, like if they, if, if, they, if they need any kind of clicks or if they're, you know, I, I guess I, they, like it depends, I, it depends on what they would ask. Guys it would it depends on what they would ask of you. If they, if, if they were out of the box can perform, uh, yeah. perform well, then, then, then it, 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 yep. it would be then an you easy could do mix it all in one to take. handle, but... Yep, but uh, but yeah. So the uh, it would actually not be that that bad if they have actual triggers, or if your studio is prepared to hook up a an actual MIDI trigger to the various drums. And it sounded like that was pretty much just the kick. Like maybe they did some stuff with the snare in post. Yeah, that, yeah, that's very likely because the snare was super dynamic. By yeah, but that shit was that shit was also on point. So. Uh the, Fucking and those real fast you, part, like he, you know, it could, it could, it could have, uh, unless that guy was just the shit, that could, could have be. had some quantizing. Uh, that is true. Um, to 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 make sure that the you know he yep. had a flawless yep. in time performance with some of them kicks. Yep. Yeah. No, I'm not. Uh, I don't know. I can't say that I'm against any any of the 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 music industry shortcuts. Uh, when used Studio well, magic. except for full drum replacement, which is retarded. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Or, or well, like ridiculous reamping of a guitar. If you can't get it right the first time, re-record it. Yeah, full full drum replacement is uh, is usually unnecessary, um, but undesirable. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes uh, I get it. If you have, uh, f- for one thing, if your signal goes wrong in something, I had that happen to me yeah. recently. If you have a problem, you got um, a problem. But the, but, but, the, but these also fucking if you bands. have a shitty sounding drum kit, which a lot of people do, um, and they don't bother to tune it properly. Well, w- then, would we record a for a, a uh, would, would, would you got to use what they got? You got to use the drum kit they got, and some drum kits you can't get a good fucking tune on. And yeah, but we're, we would we're try. not in a position well, we would to try. like a lot of these studios uh, have their own own drum kits. But uh, the the amateurs like you know variety of backline drum kits to choose from. But your average struggling musician only has their one drum kit, which may not be yeah. the best drum kit for the job. So if you need to supplement these things, like obviously get the best possible sound you can with the drum kit you have, and uh, mic it up properly, and mix it properly. But sometimes you just can't fix. Can't fix that terrible uh, ring in the snare drum, or can't uh, fix the the floppy tom sound, no matter how hard you tune it. Yeah. And you got to go in there and supplement. But I would say supplementation is the best way to go in yep. those cases. Because then you can then you could still have the dynamics of the original take and and yeah. and and just mix in a a, a fuller, more compressed sound for yep. for you know to now. Yeah. I, I do take a lot more objection to bands quantizing drummers and uh, and yeah, that doing, defeats the purpose of the drums. Exactly. Like, where? What are you gonna do? Well, the whole point of the drum is to create a pocket, and a pocket is, on you know, they they have these. Uh, you can quantize it now. Uh, put it. Lock assign it to a groove, some kind of thirty ass- percent groove. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> which which randomizes like a yeah. some kind of mistake algorithm. <laughs> yeah, it's great. to humanize humanize <laughs> drums that have been chopped up and robotified to Shit. be perfect. Like FL who the Studios fuck wants had the perfect- humanize option for decades. Yeah, who yeah. wants who wants fucking perfect timing though? I want actual air. In between the notes, I, flow, I want the band to speed up and slow down. Tempo fluctuation is key. It's yeah. it's it's so important to music, and, and, and at least the music I and not enjoy the, playing and listening to. And yeah. not in the tempo map style where you you're at ninety for however many measures, and then all of a sudden you're at one hundred and fifty. I want that to be moving up and down with the energy of the song. I want breathing it to get like the faster. walls in the room. Exactly. Okay. Much, much like those crazy fucking hits in Michigan. Shiakawaka, where it's not the same distance each time. So if you were try if you were to try to randomize the time signature on that, you would never be able to get that feel. Oh no! Oh no! If you're trying to lock any 
pretty much anything we do here at Orifice A or Telepathic Sandwich. We can't. We don't. We don't even go to clicks. No Cl clicks. Just, well, this no, is what I'm talking about. Can't. This is the clicks and quantization are the same to me. Like, if you have if you have the right kind of song, if it's some kind of dance thing that's an extended dance jam with a lot of uh, overdubs, like Earth, Earth, Wind, and Fire, I would allow them to record to a click. Yeah. It's but, contextual, but uh, the, for for what for what we do and and, and what what I, I personally enjoy, I I, I like that uh, organic uh, speeding up and slowing down of, of time, even within a measure. You know, like it's it's yeah. it's, it's, it's it's a human experience. It's, it's yep. well, and and when you're performing, sometimes sometimes a section of a song. Uh, feels better if the drummer's just behind the beat because that's where the pocket lies. And then in the next mm -hmm. section of the song, yep. he's precision, just straight ahead forward. And then the next se section of the song, maybe it feels better to be in front of the beat a little bit. Yep. Yeah, this is... It's, it's an organic thing. This is not... Uh, and should not be a mechanical deal. Like, we're, we're human beings, for God's sakes. The, the robots have not risen up yet singularity uh, is not upon us I at think, this moment no matter I think that's what why a lot no matter what yang might tell us the robots do not <laughs> rule yet i think that's why a lot of metal bands try for that kind of precision though is because it's it it the same reason why like the wachowskis in the matrix made all of the sentinel robots symmetrical it's because symmetry scares us. Symmetry is is mm -hmm. frightening. Well, that, that nobody kind has of precision. Have you ever seen a, a a motherfucker with a symmetrical face? You, yeah, exactly. You, there's only one person in the entire universe with a symmetrical face, and his name's Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I, yeah. I I think I went over this in school. Like yep. like we, uh, we we went through like photos of everybody to like put a little mirror on the face to see what they would look like. Yep, it's symmetrical and like. Uh, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's widely known that Denzel Washington is the only nigga out there <laughs> with a symmetrical face, or yeah. as a symmetrical as you can well, get. Well, which is, which is uh, probably why they, uh, no, that's, that's Morgan Freeman, never mind. But, um, <laughs> but uh, you know, there, there's this, the, the whole thing evolutionarily, we're, we're meant to uh, recognize uh, s symmetry, facial mm -hmm. symmetry as beauty. So that means Facials, that Denzel yeah, so Washington is the most is beautiful the most motherfucker beautiful man in the world. <laughs> in the world, yes. So here's this is this goes out to you, Denzel. Actually, there's no song, but uh, maybe hit an <laughs> applause for Denzel. Thank you, uh, Denzel. So here's a video I stumbled across the uh, um, a few days ago, and I thought this is this would very much entertain the Podzine audience because we know you love your multicultural diversity and all this stuff, and like are very open to all kinds of new new experiences and music from different sources, different kinds of people. So here's a little thing I found My on name this. Is uh, and I love to scream to Hashem <laughs> all day, every day. What's he love to do? Scream the Hashem. Scream the Hashem. I would describe my music as a, a punch in the face of godliness. I would compare it to old school punk rock. Mashiach Oi is a Hasidic <laughs> punk rock band from Long Island, New York, who praise God by screaming at the top of their lungs. Their goal is to bring the Mashiach, or Messiah, into the world through their music. Damn. That's a noble goal there. Uh, in New York. Jesus, Jesus doesn't like punk rock. Nope. But their Messiah does. Yep. <laughs> their smelly Messiah. We're here in the Carl Bach Shul, as it's well known. And here in New York, here in the Carl Bach Shul. I knew it. I said well New known, York. You hear me? Who I called it, nigga. In a shul. So it's entirely appropriate for us to be here because, you know, we don't necessarily fit in with Jewish programming. And for me to play here is an honor and a pleasure. Right. So punk rock isn't really a spectator sport, you know. You know, like get up and move and like mosh, smash into me, punch me in the face. The crowd was awesome. The crowd was dancing, the crowd was lively. That's that's what I expect from the Karabach Shul. Because this this yeah, is a does. place that the roots yep. are about being alive, dancing, singing, you know. We got that here. Community. It's about community. It's they, they, about. They, well they know. The tightest community in the fucking world. So we, we played for you know, we played like more than half our set, and then I was told by the rabbi who was sitting behind me, he's like Yo, you guys gotta turn it down. 
<laughs> Those know. rabbis always asking you to turn oh, down. God. See, people think there's like a half Mashiach volume. No. <laughs> We don't have a halfway. Yeah. People complain. They said you gotta get over the drums, bro. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I get yeah. it. My we, Hebrew friends. We do get it. Other people. We, uh, yeah. we, we're yeah. hip. We're hip to show. the. They shut us off in the middle of the song. Better get ready. The drummer question. Ironically, I guarantee his drummer's not as loud as ours. You see, that's good. That looks like a cool Gretsch kit he's got there, though. Yep. Yeah. Well, most punk rock drummers aren't necessarily that loud. No. Because you can't hit that hard and play that fast. Yep. Yep. We live in this world is shaker. This world is not. I want that hat. Yeah, me too. People, wake up! Yeah, I want that kick, dude. That's a nice Shia looking kick. means the redeemer, and oi means like, it's like an exclamation point. Some Jews are like, you know, we want Mashiach. Yeah, every day we pray three times a day. We want Mashiach, Mashiach. So we're like, no, it's like Mashiach, oi. You know, like, we want Mashiach, oi. Like now, like in your yeah. face, machine. Like oi, like you like, know, dude. like oi, Nazi fucking punk bands that <laughs> gasp your people when allegedly. I'm screaming, I'm trying yeah, it's kind of funny. Can, <laughs> to only focus on like literally, Gwen Stefani wrote a Christmas wrote a Christmas, and wrote a Christmas song for, that has say, that in it. Only to, you know, oi, punk is is pretty much. I mean, it's Mashiach, oi, Nazi punk, right? I mean, that's I kind of so. kind of the what I thought it was. Yeah, who can be seen in Israel dancing in the streets and on tanks. Oh, nach, 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 dancing on the streets nach, like like that one day. Signature I think it was September. Specific uh, subsect of Judaism. His holy name. Weird little uh, orthodox mini ultra orthodox sect. Yeah, so they're there just doing the Beastie Boys thing. <laughs> nice little studio there. Doesn't look all that uh, high budget either. No, yeah, I did. They're, I'd play with them. Yeah, they, they, these do yeah. not look like uh, one percenters of, nope. of rock and roll. Palace. Nope. That's where the magic happens. This, we call this place no matter what your Travis. bigoted this stereotypes may be. Like a brain. And what you see uh, live is what's like his name up? Working class kikes. Oh yeah. That's that's kind of an oxymoron, isn't it? <laughs> You're making just me an Irish supremacist, <laughs> right? <now>. Irish Mormon <laughs> supremacist, there, Frankie. I grew up on Long Island. My mom's a convert from when I was a kid. I grew up going to yeshiva, and so he's not a legit yeshiva, Jew. No, not. I uh, mean, hate Jews. Like when I was a teenager, I was I didn't want to tell people I was Jewish. Because I went Whoa. to yeshiva full of rabbis who were just like full of themselves and told you what to do. After like age like 14, 15, I just like stopped. I just like started doing lots of drugs. Like I got really into punk rock. I used to go to a lot of Jew dreads. And that was my life, you know. Little curly dreads. Yep. Because I was like <laughs> totally like a drugged out zombie. He went into the gutter. He went into the, the darkness. And they say like in, in Hasidic thought, like in order to really... Um, really so you got all fucked up like for a while, like a millennial, like a typical millennial, and then yep. you After went back and found Bob, your people. Yeah. You, you we'll went to back to your around, tribe and uh, started doing your and your own activism and for your tribe. Except, except too bad they ain't gonna accept him because your mom's not one of them. Genetically, and you're you're a little too loud for the rabbis. Good friends of mine are people I really like. I have a lot of respect for people. I got, who, like, I really like taught me a lot. Yeah, this uh, this, they didn't teach me this, this particular guy seems like a uh, chill enough bro. Like, I, found my I play own, a gig with him. Oh, I play a gig with him too. Yep. As long as he didn't, as long as he didn't, I was saying, as long as he didn't wear that hat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Work so Maris Cafe, like organic grocery and the cafe on the lower east organic side. Organic grocery. Here, oh uh, shit. Well, like punk fucking rock. Dude, punk fucking rock. Bro. So uh, here's to uh, you guys at uh, Moshiach Oi, you you punk rock Jews out there. Yes, and to uh, to to um, continue here with some more music because because Tom Petty didn't get to set it on fire. Tom Petty did nothing wrong. Yeah, this is like my favorite song on earth. Yep. Another Jewish punk rock band. A 
this is fucking rock and roll. Yep. And this is also what um, Nelson Mandela's wife liked to do to people. Gang rape and... And cover them with gas and set them on fire. Oh, yeah. That too. Oh, that fucking tone. Oh, Best yeah. guitar player in the world. Fucking Italians. That wah pedal. Just, that guitar tone. Yeah, the, the production. I know it's kind of such a bizarre production, but never, never bad. Never bad with these guys. Who is a hobble with the wobble at the gang rape? And that is what Tom Petty. Tight shit, right? That is what Tom Petty <laughs> said, and what he did not get to do. Unfortunately, yep. it's a. It is a goddamn shame. Goddamn shame, and it's a goddamn end of the episode. Yes. So remember, subscribe to PewDiePie and subscribe to us. Subscribe to Obzi. Subscribe to Obzi. And we are now on YouTube. Put shekels in our paywall. Yes, please do. Obzine.rocks. We're just poor musicians. www.obzine.rocks. Worship the orifice. Listen to Orifice A. Orifice A.com. And, and Telepathic Sandwich. At telepathicsandwich.com. Donate shekels to and us. To and praise, praise the ox. The ox. Praise, praise the ever. ever. Praise be upon uh, his name.